Magic Bullet Paper Feed Restorer. Now one of the most common reasons to have to get rid of an inkjet printer is that it will no longer feed. Now this pack will enable you to restore the paper feed friction on your A3 inkjet printer, on your A4 inkjet printer and also this works with wide format printers as well. You simply take out the pump action aerosol, so it's a non-pressurised can. The kit comes complete with six little cleaning sheets that are A4, which means to say you feed, you feed it in landscape in an A3 uh, printer, you feed it in a, a portrait in an A4 printer, and you prepare the cleaning sheet by simply spraying the front down the front there like so. You leave the top few inches uncoated. You do the same for the bottom there. You do the same for the under for the other side, and you simply feed in. Let's do it on the A4 machine. You simply feed in your sheet like so, and you press your form feed. And when it pulls through, you simply hold up the cleaning sheet. Uh, as it feeds through. So we're waiting for the printer to go through its motions and here we go. We just we just push the button. There we go. And we're holding it up as it goes through. We take it through and we you, already you can see muck coming off of the, the rollers. We've turned the cleaning sheet round and we feed it through again. We're just waiting for the paint for the printer to take it again. And we hold it up. There we go. And we're just holding it, holding it as it goes through. Already we're seeing we're seeing residues coming up on both sides. And we feed it through here at least five times per side. So we're holding it up as it's going through. And what's happening is that the residues that have accumulated on the roller uh, it is coming off on the cleaning sheet. So we just hold it up all the way through. Keep going through, keep, keep running it through. There we are. Hold it up. And after five passes with the face side up, and then the face side down, so that's 10 passes in total, we end up with a cleaning sheet looking like this. Allow the printer to dry, and then you can start putting through a bit of light paper, uh, and then you can put your normal weight of paper through, and you'll find that your, your platen rollers are nice and clean. Now you repeat the process exactly as I've explained it with an A3 printer, but this time you would do it landscape like this. The idea is that you 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 actually uh, uh, cover as much of the width of the platen rollers as you can. Now you can also use this material to clean the initial um, the initial grab roller. There's a grab roller right at the back here. Now let's get hold of the camera, and we can get in nice and close. And we can show you what I mean. And what we need to do is we need to get a little bit of, of, of dry paper towel, ordinary kitchen towel, and we, we soak the little bit of, little bit of that. And we go, we're also going to spray down into the printer, which I'm going to show you now. So let's go around to the camera. And let's... Just forgive me as I, I move the camera around. We're going to go to our Epson printer here. And we're going to get in nice and tight. Let's move that paper away so we can actually see. Now we're looking down on the printer. Let's come away. And this is where the paper feeds in. This will be quite familiar to all you Epson people out there. And what you do is you look in at the paper, can you see that roller there? It's to the right hand side and it's the grey rubber part 
that often loses its friction. So what we do, I've got my Magic Bullet feed restorer and I'm just going to give it a little spray there, just a couple of sprays, not too much. And I'm going to get my, my, my cloth and I rub top and bottom and you see the, met, the muck that comes off there. And what you then do is you can allow this to dry, allow at least five minutes for it to dry, then start to put through some light paper, and then you can put through your normal paper, uh, and it, it should that should work fine. Now there is one further little trick that you can try. This little rubber here, this rubber band, you can actually roughen up that rubber band. You can get the back of a knife and very carefully roughen that band up to get the, to get the, uh, the friction back on that initial roller. Now the last thing to say is that once you've got your paper feeds working okay on your A3 printer and your A4 printers, it's not a bad idea to have a little bit of preventative maintenance. And what I always do is, at the end of each printing session, I always shut down, I always shut down my lid, and I always shut down the front tray. And on my A4 printer here, at the end of my session, I always close down my top lid and always close down the, the front feed tray at the front here. If you can keep the dust away from this printer overnight, that's a good thing. And the last thing to talk about really is the sort of paper that you should put through your printer. You really need to make sure that you use a good quality paper. In this case, we're about to say an extremely good competitive professional photographic paper is the Marat paper which is sold by Specialist Inks and here we are we have eight different types of paper for you to to uh, to go for and this is where you would buy your your paper online thank you very much for watching